So now what we're going to do, we're going to explore the formation of stationary waves on a stretched string system. Now, um, it is very easy to form a stationary wave on a stretched string. Or basically what you need to do is you must have nodes on either end of this string. And as long as you form a wave that satisfies this condition, we call this the boundary condition, then you will get a stationary wave. Now, and so when you look at this diagram, okay, it looks like the easiest way or one of the ways, let's put it that way, to form, to do this is to have a wave that looks like this. So let's call this L, the length of the string. And if you look at this very carefully, you'll notice that L basically equals to half a wavelength, right? And so this is one way, okay, for example, if you had a string of length L and you had a wave of wavelength lambda and it equals to and it, it satisfies this equation, then you will get this pattern of a stationary wave and that would be nice. Okay, uh, this is also the largest wavelength where you can achieve a stationary wave and so we call this the fundamental mode of vibration. Okay, fundamental mode of vibration and also the frequency of the wave that corresponds to this wavelength is called the fundamental frequency, F0. Okay, now, um, is this the only way to form a stationary wave? Absolutely not. So, keeping in mind that I need to have nodes on both ends, okay, notice that another way I can do this is to go something like that. Okay, and my wave just goes up and down like this. Now, in this case, notice that L equals to two times of lambda over two. That's one, that's two. Very nice, very nice. And I'm going to just keep going on here, okay? And uh, I'm just going to do one more example, okay? I can actually form even more types of stationary waves, okay? And uh, let's draw one more of these, okay? I can even go like that, one, two, three, okay? And then you'll realize that, oh, that's another way to form a stationary wave. And so in this case, L, equals to three times of lambda over two. Now, what's going to happen here is that you realize there are really many ways you can do this. And so the general formula for this is L, the length of the string, as long as it equals to some integer multiple n of lambda over two, then you will form a stationary wave on this string. Okay, and so this is what you need to remember. Okay, remember sub in L, sub in lambda, as long as n is some integer value, then you will form a stationary wave. This integer value n, by the way, is also called the harmonic. So for example, if you had a string of length 1 meter, 100 centimeters, and you had a lambda of 10 centimeters, you'll realize that n equals to 20, and that would be what we call your 20th harmonic. And this is going to be pretty hard to draw, but between your string, you'll have 20 of these half wavelengths being formed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on and so forth.